Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Wasn't playing on stream today, but I had an hour or two free. Figured, let's fucking do it. Why not, chat? Why not? Seize the day. Carpe all them DMs if you've got the motivation to do it. Cracking. Cracking. Hi, Seppy. Seppy, thank you for gifting a sub to, to Peppercorn. Peppercorn powder, hey? What was the... Uh, it seems like you still love... Love the bees. So you still love the bees, but you're no longer repping the bees. What's up, Peppercorn? How's the fucking karate, taekwondo, black belt, snapping arms, snapping boards, or snapping yourself? It's good to see you, man. Welcome back. Welcome back, JC. I see you sneaking in as well, JC. Oh, hey, JC. Good to see you. Dragon Master, good to see you too. We'll welcome everybody in. They're still in your heart? <gasps> Wonderful. But Peppercorn is more important now. Peppercorns. We used to have heaps of peppercorn trees growing up. Let me say hi to everybody. Fang, congrats on being first. Lordo, you're still here. What's up, big boy? Uh, D, good to see you too, dude. Alex, hi, Alex. I hope work's going well. Hope you're smashing the day. Stayed up till two for me. Oh, my God. You didn't have to do that. I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it. Don't worry. We're back on track. We're back on schedule. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have a schedule. <laughs> but we're, we're back in the groove of doing the things that are cool. So there will be more streams. Um, this is only my fourth stream back. This is only the, the second week I've come back in like a year. So we're still working up to it. But... There'll be plenty of streams, different time zones, different things, different whatevers. Whatevers. We've got a few things to talk about, and we're also going to play some fucking Stream Raiders and get that BBC out. Oh, the BBC chat. The BB if you have the BBC, flex it in chat. Flex it in chat. Ghoul, I see you there, mate. How are you doing today, dude? Hope you had a good weekend with the kiddos. I hope you're having a good Monday morning. Or, I mean, Monday afternoon now, but hope you had a good morning and afternoon. Seppi, go to bed. Go to bed. Enjoy your three days off, dude. Three days off. Fucking relax. Take care of yourself. And the dabs too. Nice, nice. Um, let me see, have I missed anybody? Hey, JC, what's up, dude? You do? You have, yeah. You have the uh, the BBC in your heart, my friend. But do you have it on the stream? You have it on the stream. <laughs> it's good to see you, dude. What's up, D? Good to see you too, dude. Oh, so many familiar faces. What a good community we have. I'm so blessed. Oh, bummer. Bummer. I mean, having a headache after a... Three days with the kids makes a lot of sense. Um, but hopefully if your team wins, it'll relieve that. Um, thank you for the gifting a sub to, to, Pepper, to Peppercorn. I want to call you Bumblebee. I still want to call you Bumblebee. Oh, I was when you were 12. Oh, dude, I still have my email address. is still my fucking 11-year-old email from like MSN, but it's connected to everything. I can't change it. It's just like, oh, terrible. Terrible. Um, I don't know if uh, Mado's here, but I'm going to say thank you anyway in case she watches the VOD. So she doesn't have to scroll through it. Uh, Mado gifted like five subs the other day and I said thank you because I mean I, I think I said, said thank you but after I ended the stream the other day I realized um, she gifted five tier twos BBC. I didn't even realize they were tier twos I didn't give her the tier two level of appreciation I feel so guilty I feel so guilty but that's a failure of me reading I was all, all uh, fucking all over the shop thanks for the prime boy thanks for the prime there you go Flex that BBC in all of your uh, chats. This is the month to do it, JC. This is the month to do it. All right? <laughs> God damn it. I heard it's pretty hot over there. Masha was complaining that it was too hot in uh in the, the land of the king. There you go. The, te the wrinkly testicles with the ears and the, uh, the BBC. There's the wiggle as well. It's called the BBC chat because it's the big bouncing crocodile. That's Brucey. All of the subscribers of the first couple of years, their names are on Brucey, immortalized forever. What's up, Short? Good to see it. So freaking hot. Dude, it's so cold. It's winter in Australia. It's so fucking cold. This morning was a struggle. This morning was a struggle. But struggles make you stronger. Oh, pardon me. God damn it. Oh. In the challenge. Oh, interesting. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. That The old username reflects a past version of yourself and the new username reflects who you are now i see you caleb how are you caleb um there is most likely a name change coming for this channel as well i'm indecisive i'm umming and ahhing about it but we might pull the trigger on at some point we might pull the trigger on at some point ah. so today's only gonna be a short stream hour and a half two hours max um i got some stuff to do tonight uh good stuff we're doing good stuff now chat which is good Man, I can't believe I stream and I don't know words other than good. Why Why are you guys here? 
<laughs> Topical, that's it. Love the cold, hate the heat. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Depends on where you live, I guess. James, it's good to see you though, man. It's good to see you. I don't want to miss anybody if uh, if I do. If, if I miss you, just, just yell at me. Just yell at me. Get out of here, Sebby. Go to, go to bed. Go to bed, dude. Thank you for the sub um, to Peppercorn. And thank you for... Uh, thank you to JC for the Prime as well, mate. Prime Gamer in chat. It's cold in Melbourne. Yeah, if it's cold in Adelaide, it'd be fucking freezing in Melbourne. Melbourne's terrible. Just, just... It, Melbourne's terrible. Come to Australia. Come to SA. We're Radlade. All right. <laughs> Oh man, you know how easy cold showers are gonna be in summer? It's gonna be so nice. It's gonna be so nice. But then I guess I have to go colder. I don't know. Um, we're gonna I loaded up Stream Raiders. So we're gonna we're gonna start a game of Stream Raiders. If you haven't played Stream Raiders before, it's like a little mini game. It's like a 30 minute uh setup. We just place the units, wait 30 minutes, and then we smash the fucking dungeon. It's super fucking chill. We haven't played oh, you move from oh you you you, you traitor! You Judas! At two short sweets. There's no iced coffee over there. They don't have big balls in the... It's a shame. It's a shame. But Melbourne's probably better for work and for everything else. At least too small. <laughs> Hopefully you can warm up. How will I randomly find you after a couple of time frames off? True, JC. Don't, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm contemplating all of those things, JC. Don't worry. It's going to be... It's going to be different enough that I'm happy with it, but similar enough that no one's confused. Um... Yeah, maybe Dragon Master. Did I say hi to you? I might, I might have missed you. I'm sorry. But hi, Dragon. Yeah. Oh, KFC for sure. KFC for sure. Red Rooster's not bad, but KFC. Oh, I mean, Red Rooster's real chicken. KFC. Oh, I'm indecisive. I don't know. I don't know. Send me 50 bucks. I'll go buy both of them and I'll do a food review in the car. Damo's car food review. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The 11 herbs and spices. All right, now Red Rooster. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> cheesy nugs? I don't think I've had cheesy nugs. <sighs> I'm glad you're in a better place. Short. I'm glad. Do you want to be preferred to be called short or sweet? Or both? Um, but I'm glad you know well. That's awesome. That's awesome. You have a job too? Nice. Dude, don't you fucking dare, all right? You got the job because you worked hard. You were at uni as well, right? Spend your money on yourself. You deserve it. You deserve it, man. You deserve it. That being said, we do have a new goal today that I'll show in a second. Uh, it might be on the battle screen. We'll start the battle. We'll start the battle and then I'll just riff raff. There's a few things. That, well, I wanna. We got a brand new goal today. It's the scariest goal by far that I've ever done in five years. And because I've mentioned it to a few people, I now have to commit to it. So I'm currently in a state of fear and panic. But scary things are sometimes good for you. Not always. Don't touch spiders if you live in Australia. Or do live your life. Why aren't you dead? <laughs> no, please don't do that. I don't want my sarcasm to like result in deaths. Uh, <laughs> Stream Raiders! <gasps> and uh, uh, hopefully Rakali pops in or sees the VOD. Um, Rakali did a lot of the artwork for it. Uh, nah, we're gonna... Uh, Alright, we'll start the new event. Start the new event. So, Stream Raiders champ. Like drop bears, yeah, that's it. You can pet drop bears. You can pet drop bears. Um... But you, you probably won't live to tell the tale. I love this silly little game so much. Alex, thank you for reminding me, man. If you didn't remind me, like you guys, you guys are better streamers than I am. Uh, if you go exclamation mark stream raiders, it'll probably post the command in chat. I was trying to figure out the button. I thought I had a button for it. We do have a button for this though. Chat. I set this up the other day. If anyone in chat has any medication or vitamins or anything that they should be taking that they have forgotten, there's your fucking reminder. Because... I forget all the time. <laughs> and we talked in Discord and there was like five of us that were like, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Here's a little reminder. So our last battle was in 2021. We haven't played this game in over two years. We haven't played this game in two years, Jam. Um, because I was busy uh, digging myself deeper into a hole of depression and degeneracy that I'm slowly climbing out of. And Stream Raiders is a milestone because we didn't do it for a long time. <laughs> but we were one of the, I think we, we might have been one of the first partners on streamers I don't even remember we got in the alpha program back in the day and the most important thing chat oh, when I loaded this up I like I just had such nostalgia such nostalgia look there's the BBC the fucking big berserker crocodile Brucey's a goddamn tank I'm pretty certain Rikali did the pixel art for that Rikali is a 10, 10 out of 10 artist insane 
And then we got little Frodo frogs. And then we got, uh, let's go to the army actually. Uh, rarity. We got the flag bearer. So you can buy these, uh, somewhere. On Stream Raiders somewhere. Um, and Stream Raiders are really, really good. You get 50% if you're, uh, a streamer if you're a partner you get 50 percent. if you're an affiliate you get 40 percent uh like with their program not on twitch but 50 50 split fucking awesome and you get a you get a cool crocodile and then they're, they're uh pretty cheap i think oh this is the best one we have a steve irwin healer no no sorry we have a blonde australian outdoorsman who likes animals uh i need to work out like the the liability at the end of movies and shit any resemblance to anyone fictional or non-fictional is a pure coincidence he helps, he helps the crocodiles. He helps the crocodiles. The crocodiles do the attacking and little Steve-O heals him. Oh, it's my favorite. Such nostalgia. Look at this. Look at this fucking chonky boy. <gasps> Such a tank. And thank you, yeah, the thank drop you, bet. JC, what are you doing? I switched my PC on for this while getting ready for work. Welcome back, mate. Dude, you didn't have to take time out of your morning routine. You didn't have to take time out of your morning routine to turn the computer on to send me fucking... That's probably 50 bucks. It's in a, it's in the American currency, so that could be like a bazillion UK ding-a-dongs or whatever they have. Um, thank you, dude. That, that's shit tons. That's, that's, that's heaps. That's insane. Um, that's insane. Ah, I'm getting... Oh, I'm like swell of emotions. It's been so long. It's been so long. Oh, I'm so fucking grateful to this community. 50 AUD. Look at our shit currency. It's only worth 33 bucks American. Our currency is just like Zimbabwe inflation. God damn it. Um, no, that's heaps, JC. That's that's fucking that's amazing. Um, I appreciate you, dude. What's your followers, JC? I've, I've I've known JC for probably four plus years. Good boy. Are you still streaming at the moment? I want to ask you lots of questions, but I know you're getting ready for work. So go do what you got to do, man. But we we will see each other soon, I'm sure. This button. This button. Yeah, thanks, dude. Ah, I just ticked over to four years. Happy anniversary, my friend. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Peppercorn. I appreciate it. Daddy long legs are good. Daddy long legs are great. Huntsman's are great. Don't bite you. Take care of flies. No webs. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. But uh, they do look scary. Do look scary. It was an anniversary, I know. Um, one week and five days. I came back to stream eight days ago. Eight days ago was my first stream back. So like, I just felt I had an inner, an inner sense that it was our anniversary that drew me back. Crazy, crazy. Yo, V, how the heck are you doing, man? Every time I stream, I just see, see old faces that just hit me with nostalgia. Man, we, we, we really built such an awesome community. Just a little tight knit of wonderful people. I'm so, I'm so thankful. It's good to see you, V. I hope you're doing fucking great, man. I hope you're doing great. So this is my one of my favorite ones. But like Fang said, the drop bear is the best. The drop bear was the last skin we made before we uh, took a big break from stream. And we sorted out our health. Where's the drop bear? The drop bear is like, look at this. Look at this. Imagine you're walking down the street late at night and this, this chonky boy comes at you. That's a drop bear. All right. I guarantee you, if you buy this skin, you can never lose. It's impossible. It's impossible. What can defeat this? Nothing can defeat that. BBC is pretty strong, but that... That's a, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. So we got lots of skins. Lots of crocodile skins. Stevo skin. Fuck yeah. All right, we'll start a battle. I haven't done this in so long. I'm hoping the command works in chat. We'll have to see. Hi, April. I see you. Get some sleep. Have an, have, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. I'll see you soon. Don't worry. Next stream be good for America. I promise. I promise. Oh, is it working? First game in 670 something days. <gasps> All right, we have to, I mean, we have to put the BBC down. If you're fortunate enough to have any of the skins, I want to see him. If you have the war beast, I want to see him. But the best of the best is the BBC. All right, we're going to line up. Rally around me, lads. Yeah. I'm getting quest done. Look at me go. Look at me go. All right. So it should be... We've got 30 minutes. Ghoul's in. <gasps> Ghoul's got the war beast. Oh, Alex has got the flag. Oh, man, I miss this. I miss this, dude. Now, is the timer going to work?
gonna work. <clears throat> oh, I see uh, someone put down a... Uh, who is that that put down the war beast? Oh, Fang put down the war beast? Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thanks guys, I appreciate that. Thank you for the donations and the subs as well. Um, I like footy. I like footy. I don't watch much sports anymore. Um, I play tennis though. I'm a big tennis player. <laughs> I was losing, uh, I was down 5-1 last, last Thursday. I was losing 5-1 and I came back to 5-all. They were 6-5 up and then I ended up beating them 7-6 in the tiebreaker. It was the most insane game ever. And it was raining, it was miserable, there was no one else there playing at all. Zoned in. Getting fit again, hitting it. Hitting it good. <sighs> I know, it's so good seeing everybody from so long ago. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. Busy being a mum. I'm doing good, V. I'm doing good, man. Hope the little attack is not, not causing you too much trouble. <sighs> man, so many people. So many people. How was everybody's weekend? How was everybody, those in Australia that aren't Queensland? I hope you're having a good public holiday. Because the king and the queen have like a zillion birthdays. Like the queen was probably 40 when she died. She just has four birthdays a year. But not complaining about a, a free day off. Can't get wrong with that. Yeah, Fane, that's when I just met you. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm sorry about that. I'm glad you stuck around. I appreciate you. WA doesn't get it either. Ah, cop it. Cop it. Middle states, best states. Um, <sighs> I was going to say. Yeah, so that actually kind of, we can segue into some stuff. That, that kind of ties into what I want to talk about today. So I'm going to show you the goal is down here. I've got it hidden at the moment. I will make it appear shortly. Um, it's definitely the scariest goal that I've ever decided on. But it's going to be a good, it's, yeah, it'll be good. I'm excited. No, I'm not excited. I'm terrified. In a good way? No, no, no. I'm just terrified. But I'm, I'm locked in now. So I'm going to be accountable. Thank you, JC. Have a good day at work, mate. Hopefully it uh, cools down for you. So you don't all get Dave syndrome. Um, you got a free day too, short. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> so um, the other uh, last week, it would have been, I don't know, Thursday? Wednesday? Thursday. It was Thursday. L last week on Thursday, I was like sitting on the, sh on the shitter on my phone. Bzz, bzz, got a message. Hey. Can anyone come and fill in tonight for the division for tennis? People have called in sick. Immediately when I saw that message, because I didn't play Monday because it's been raining out, it's been raining so much here, um, and it gets cancelled a lot. But I got that message, and immediately, I feel like whenever you get uh, an opportunity, or whenever something happens in life, the first voice you hear in your head is the asshole voice. Is the voice that says, that looks hard, that looks scary, Take a day off. That's the first voice you hear. And I was sitting there reading that message. Do you want to come fill in for tennis tonight? And I heard, oh, leg day was yesterday. You're sore. You should relax. You should recover. You know, you, need, you didn't get much sleep. This, this, this. All these issues. Oh, it's going to rain later on. It's going to be wet. It's going to be miserable. Oh, it's a fill in. You don't know the people that you're playing with. There's no social. It's like you're by yourself. It's a, immediately like a hundred excuses in like half a second. Like, I stop. I was like, where did that come from? What's, what's all this? How is that so fast? How is that part of my brain so ready to just scream excuses at me? And I went, stuff that, I'm going. Sent the message, I'm coming down. And then immediately after I sent the message, I was like, I don't want to go. <laughs> Why did I commit? But you just, you'll be surprised if you stop and take a breath and you just think, you go, why, what is this, where are all these excuses coming from? How, how is that possible? It's, um, and the crazy thing is, um, once you start taking a small step forward, whatever that step is, wherever you're in, wherever you are in life, the first step's the hardest. But whenever you take that small step forward, part of your brain kind of wakes up and goes, "Oh, we're stronger than the excuses. That's interesting. It's in our control." And the next day, you take another step. You go, "Oh, I didn't want to do that either, but I guess we can do it." You slowly build that self-belief. <clears throat> and went down, played tennis, two hours in the rain. Random people, lovely people, made some new friends. Every, no one else was on the court because it was raining. It was just us, only us. And I had the best games of my life. Best games of my life. Ended up running like 10Ks, 15K steps, and I felt great. I was exhausted. Everything hurt. It was terrible. It was wet. It was miserable. It sucked. But if I had have stayed home and sat on the computer watching random YouTube videos I don't care about, I would have felt much worse 
and the soreness I felt afterwards. It was one of the best days ever. And I wouldn't have got that day if I didn't stop and go, where are these excuses coming from? I refuse to, refuse to be a slave to my impulses because I did that for 30 years and it failed. <laughs> What's up, Lordo? Dude, good comments on Instagram. You're spot on, man. I did the same thing. The same thing. <clears throat> you want to see the goal first? Oh, I'll do it quickly. I'll do it quickly. So, um, because I'm on this kind of self-improvement kick at the moment, um, it's not. I'm not trying to do like a, you know, like a yo-yo diet, three months of focusing and then just burn out again. I'm trying to build the foundations of support structures, of networks, of other things in life. So when one thing hits a speed bump, there's other things to fall back on. Beforehand, when I was undiagnosed ADHD, I didn't really know what was going on. I was hyper-focusing on stream so much, 18 hours a day, that if one thing went wrong on stream, I'd disappear for three months. I didn't have anything else in my life because I neglected my health, my friendships, my family, everything. I neglected everything to focus on the stream, which might give you numbers and metrics and all that stuff that doesn't actually matter, but it didn't work for me inside. So I got partner and then a week later I quit because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what direction I was going in. Everything else was just, there was nothing there. And then when I stopped streaming, I had no networks to fall back on. So before I started streaming again, I've tried to set up professional help, doctors, physio, dentist, psych, um, exercise, family, friends, all the support networks, a balanced life, like normal adult humans have. Amazing, right? <clears throat> Only took me 30 years to find out that it's effective. <clears throat> but in terms of uh, doing challenges and stuff, um, beforehand, the goals we used to do were like, you know, 100 bucks or whatever, and we'll play a scary game or a certain amount of subs, and we'll do a 24 hour subathon. And all of the goals that we did were entertaining and they were fun and they were good goals, but they were, they were, unhealthy for me and that's what's that's what's entertaining as a viewer you know look at him he's tired for 24 hours oh he's doing a shoey oh he's you know doing whatever he's eating a business card those are entertaining because they suck but why not do something that sucks equally so you still get to get that schadenfreude enjoyment from my pain but if i'm gonna do something terrible it may as well be terrible with a benefit and that's what I've been doing slowly uh, over the last month. Last week, I promised myself Monday to Friday, I'll have a cold shower every morning. So like a warm shower and then cold at the very end, 30 seconds at the end. This week, I promised myself I'm gonna do a cold shower, just cold, no warm, just pure cold. And then at nighttime, I'll have a relaxing shower. But the morning is just pure cold. So this morning, it took me an hour to get out of bed, sit on my phone, just in my head. I don't wanna do this. No one knows I'm gonna do this. I've only promised myself, this sounds terrible, it's cold, I'm tired, everything. And I still went and did it. <clears throat> because I made that promise to myself. I'm trying to become accountable to myself and also to you guys. So those of you that follow Instagram and Twitter and stuff, I posted about that this morning. Um, and posting it like, uh, posting my failures and achievements publicly also helps me keep accountable. Because now that I've told you guys I'm showering, cold showering, Monday to Friday this week, when I get up tomorrow morning, fucking, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna be a bitch and a liar? Or am I gonna commit to my word? So tomorrow morning, I guess I have to do it. You know, I'm starting to commit to things. Um, <clears throat> instead of letting that soft voice of just go back to bed, just be warm, just to be distracted, just to... Because that led me down a path of nearly not coming back. So I'm slowly trying to get better. And I assure you, I was in a terrible spot. Weight gain, addictions, health, physical health, mental health, no family, no friends, all that sort of stuff. And the way I got out of that, or I'm starting to come out of that, is one small step. So if you're in the hole and you're struggling and you feel terrible and everything sucks and every day sucks and the future is miserable, you have the strength to do it. Trust me, you do. You can do it. You can take that small step. You can put your shoes on today. You can walk to the letterbox tomorrow. Small step, small step. The more small steps you do, the more you believe in yourself. If this idiot can do it, you definitely can. <clears throat> and we're all here to help you if you need that, that boost. <sighs> that was horrible, dude. It was horrible. But start the day off good. I started the day with a cold shower in the middle of winter into a gym session. I went to the gym half an hour early before my partner. Uh, 
did 4k run then i hit the then i did the weight session so now today the rest of today doesn't matter like you don't get mad in traffic you're like oh well, am i gonna get am i gonna let this give me anxiety when this morning i did something way worse it's about resetting uh resetting your brain resetting the scale if you're comfortable and you're seeking pleasure and being hedonistic and you know sometimes you're sometimes you don't have the strength to confront the things that are troubling you which is where support networks and help and friends come in but do you not have the strength or is your brain lying to you is your brain lying to you because it might be going for a walk is so hard it's a mountain i can't climb it's terrible but if you do something harder then you go oh that actually isn't as scary as i thought it was like answering the phone is not as scary as i thought it was because i did something harder so i start the day with something hard and then the rest of the day is easy nothing annoys me there's very little anxiety like you're gonna get annoyed at someone on twitter that is like so small level of stress compared to a you know your testicles retreating into your goddamn lungs freezing cold in the morning that is stress and then everything else is just a little bit quieter a little bit quieter you can do it you can do it <coughs> oh you've been smacking tennis too nice can't karate chop the ball you're probably strong so you probably hit it fast so leading into the goal I'm trying to, one of the things I've been thinking about is doing difficult things. Not a profound thought. I'm not the first one to ever discover this shit, but it's an important principle that I'm keeping in mind because the more difficult things I do, because this is something in interesting. If you, uh, if you voluntarily get in a cold shower, you have a different physical and mental response than if someone throws you into an ice cold pool. If it's voluntary, you have a different response biologically and mentally but life is going to always suck sometimes life is going to smack you with pain but if you if you chase the pain and do it voluntarily life doesn't get easier you just get stronger because life's always going to suck so you may as well be prepared but it's going to suck either way you may as well suck the least amount possible <laughs> so in that whole rambling divergent thought full circle the goal that i want to do i wanted to i want to start doing goals sub goals uh donor goals that sort of stuff not for things like 24-hour streams not for things like shoeys um i can't there probably will be shoeys in the future um we can't stop the shoeys but i want to start doing things that are really difficult and really scary and things that are difficult and scary is different for everybody um, I've always done things that were easy for me or, or easier that I've had some skill or experience in because hard things are scary. Failure is scary. You know, you don't want to fail. You don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to be upset. Failure is scary, especially public failure. But all you can do is control. You can't control what life throws at you, but you can control your reaction to what life throws at you. You can't control anybody else or the world, but you can control your thoughts and your behaviors. That's it. And if you do things that you think are important, you think are valuable, that you enjoy, that you that you fully, truly believe and confident in, it doesn't matter if it fails. If you believe it, then all my anxiety has gone away because I'm not trying to fit into the mold that the world is telling me to fit into. I'm just doing what I think is best. And... I think if you be performance focused rather than results focused, it changes the mindset, especially on the internet, metrics, numbers, subs, followers, this, that, whatever, likes, engagement, the metrics are there. So it's impossible to not compare yourself. Oh, I must be worse than this person. Oh, I must be better than this person. No, we're all the same. Everyone's good, everyone's bad. We all got advantages, disadvantages. It's better to, most of my life has been not trying, but still succeeding. And that teaches a bad lesson, bad lesson, terrible lesson. It's way better to try your best and fail than to try your, than to not try and succeed, all right? Because <clears throat> sometimes you do everything right and you still fail. It's just life. Don't be discouraged. But all that matters is if you tried your best. So I'm not worried about public opinion. I'm not worried about how I look, how people think about me. I'm not worried. All I'm worried about is that if I try my best, then I don't give a shit what happens. I don't care. I can't control people. I can just control me. And if I know I'm doing my best, nothing else matters. So you should, you should, 
keep that in mind. That's been really helpful for me. <coughs> so, the goal I decided to do. It's my birthday next month. I'm turning 30. Yes, I know I look 11. I am indeed a boomer. That is my original Ness from growing up. I know I look 10 years old. But next month is my 30. So in, in a couple of weeks, I'm turning 30. We're going to do a cool stream for that. But I was thinking about what should I do for my 30th? An escape room or a fucking, I don't know. What do people do? Wine parties? I don't know what people my age do. <laughs> thought you were 40. My back feels like it's 40. Hi, kid Sony. Good to see you, mate. $100 for a demo handstand. Mm, I'm just checking how much space I got. Yeah, I'll, I'll attempt a handstand for 100 bucks. Yeah, I will. Oh, this is going to be terrible. I'm going to snap everything. <laughs> um, so... What I'm going to do for my birthday, I want to try. This is something that is scary. It's terrifying. I don't want to do it, but I think it's going to be good. On my birthday, and I might uh, might live stream it. Probably not, but I'll, I think I'll film it. <laughs> Where's the button? Nothing. I think I've, I've been I've built it up too much. Probably built it up too much. I'm going to go to a comedy club and attempt to do a couple of minutes of stand-up comedy. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. Like streaming in front of anonymous chat is not too bad, but standing on a stage with lights and a crowd. And then you're like, uh, what's brown and sticky? A stick? Crickets. You've just got a whole crowd of people staring at you, not laughing. That sounds terrifying. It sounds so terrifying. It sounds so terrifying. <laughs> It sounds terrifying. And it's not something that I can just walk up to and just smash. Like, I can't just... I don't have any skills. I'm pretty good at ranting and, like, bouncing off of people. I just rant and then sometimes I find something funny. But a structured joke, set up punchline, crowd work. Two months ago, I was having panic attacks with anxiety. This is going to be terrible. <clears throat> but now I'm locked in. Now I'm locked in. I've invited my friends. I said, this is what I'm doing for my birthday. So I've told people, I've told stream. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And you know what, chat? The awesome thing is, I'm probably going to fail. That's awesome. That's what my title is today. Seek failure. It's so scary, right? It's terrible. Oh, are you kidding me, D? We're the same people. We'll find out Swag's doing it too. That's terrifying. It's so terrifying. But... Where's... Hello? Music? There you go. <clears throat> but I heard a really good uh, quote the other day that fear... Fear is the entry price. Fear is the entry price. It's the entry price to anything. To anything. Anything that's challenging, you're going to be scared. You have to accept that and do it anyway. Because the first time I ever had a cold shower was terrible. The next day was even worse because I knew the pain of the cold was coming. It was terrible. I didn't want to do it. And then after I did it, I felt better. So even if I go up there and I fail and it's cringy jokes and it's all terrible, I'm going to walk away feeling good as long as I tried my best. And then I'm going to try to do it again and maybe improve and maybe improve. I don't even... Another way to think about it is not even failing. Like, you know... If you stream for three years and you're affiliate or you're five years or whatever and the views aren't going up, instead of thinking of it, I've failed, think of it as attempts, you know? You didn't fail. It's your first attempt. It's your second attempt. Work and improve between the attempts. Try, fail. First attempt. Am I giving up? No. Second attempt. Think of it like attempts, you know? I could just go up there and just read dad jokes. Um, I'm not going to write anything down. I'm going to remember it. Like, I'm going to prepare. I have three weeks. I have three weeks to come up with a few minutes of something funny. I have... I'm committed. Now I'm committed. That's a good question too, D. I don't know. I don't know. I have no experience in this field. Um, I don't know. I've never been good at thinking of like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, I do have a lot of stories. Um, so we're going to do a story stream as well. Um, because uh, there's a lot of things that have a lot of riffraff in my past that uh, I was too anxious to talk about. But now I don't give a crap. <laughs> We've done some riffraff. Uh, some funny stories. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. You did an escape room. Oh, nice, JC. Yeah, I haven't done an escape room yet. Seems fun. Knees are painful today after the run. Um, but nah, I feel good. Feel good. I hate myself for it every morning, but feel fantastic how I do it. Good on you, Lordo. Dude, you're, you're further down the path than I am. I'm very proud of you, man. Um, like your comments on Instagram inspire me to keep up. Like, what am I going to do? See Lordo tomorrow on stream and tell him that I was too, was a pussy and I didn't have a cold shower? Can't do that. Can't do that. I gotta, we gotta be, uh, you know, rising tide lifts all boat. We all gotta grow and be strong together. It's gonna happen. Good question, Dragon. So, I don't think I'm going to live stream it. Um, but I will be recording it. I'll get someone to record it. I'll get someone to record it. And maybe... Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe anyone that, that gifts subs gets to see the day early. Or something. Um, I don't know. There'll be some, some incentive reward. Um, so you guys will see it. It won't just be uh, like... I could just tell you guys, like... Oh yeah, today I ran a marathon. Where's the proof? I'm not just going to talk about stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to try to lead by example. I'm going to try to um, live the life that I want rather than just talking about it, which is very hard. But we're going to do it. Oh, it's terrifying. The more I talk about it, V, the more scared I am. It's terrifying. Um, like <laughs> I'm sure all my friends that I've invited, uh, all my friends, like the three of them. I'm sure my friends that I've, I've invited are like. You're going to fail. You're not funny. Why are you doing this? Most of them don't even believe that I'm a streamer. Like, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but even if I don't smash it, even if I don't smash it, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? But my red joe ran out and also I need fuel. So help the poor boy get to the goal. And then when we get to the goal, I'll make sure that uh, I'll show you guys the recording of it. And it'll be good. It'll be good. Thank you, Dell. I hope the, the exams are going well. <clears throat> yeah, it's terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, you moved? That's that's a rough 30th, but that is an adult, that is an adult birthday. That is an adult birthday for sure. <sighs> no, you won't, Peppercorn. You you put that job money in your back pocket, alright? Scary, terrifying, don't want to do it is how I talk about getting out of bed when it's raining. Yeah. Good. That's fine. That voice in your head's always gonna be there. And depending on how much you're struggling, that voice is different levels of loud. And if your voice is telling you, I don't want to get out of bed, I want to be warm, I want to cancel today, I want to quit uni, I want to uh, take a seat at work. And then when you go and do it, you feel much better. You feel so much better. The best days at gym are the days that you don't want to go. It's easy to be motivated when things are convenient. Oh, I'll go for a walk when it's nice and sunny and everything's great. So you're only going to improve yourself when it's convenient, you feel way better doing things when you don't want to do them. Way better. Because you know that you've overcome that voice and the voice that is saying, I'm strong, I'm capable, I can do this, I don't have to listen to the sad thoughts, that voice gets stronger. And the bad voice gets weaker and weaker the more you show it how wrong it is. It's very hard though. It's very hard. <clears throat> oh, really, D? Yeah, no, I'm going to fail. And that's awesome. Like, I'm, you know, uh, you expect the worst and you hope for the best. I'm totally, it's going to be terrible. Like, I'm not excited to fail. I'm going to go up there, most likely, say five minutes of bad jokes. No one's going to laugh. I'm going to walk off feeling terrible, but also good. Because it was scary and I still did it. And that's what I mean about seeking failure, you know? It's um, one part of your brain wants you to be comfortable and safe and happy because evolution wants you to be avoid threats, have kids. That's the whole point. We don't have threats anymore. There's no lions chasing us. So anxiety is the invention of threats. Tomorrow this might happen. If I do this, this might happen. The uncertainty of the future. Seeds of doubt turn into forests of inaction. All right? That part of your voice wants you to be the safest possible. Oh, I'm scared to answer the phone because threat. And then when you don't answer the phone, that voice gets stronger. Oh, we didn't do the thing and we didn't die. So it must be good. But then when you do the thing, if you answer the phone, that voice goes, oh, wait, I guess it wasn't a threat. 
Nothing bad happened. Or if it did happen, I was strong enough to handle it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it might go well. I'm not looking at it as in a negative mindset. Um, I'm more of just... Uh, I'm carefree. It's going to suck. It's going to be terrible. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ugh, it doesn't matter. If if I don't, if I procrastinate, if I procrastinate and I don't tr put effort in and I don't practice and I don't try and I don't learn and I walk up there and I'm nervous and I don't know what I'm going to say and I, I don't have anything written down and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wing it, that's when I feel terrible. When you're unprepared. It's the unprepared things that hurt you the most but if i'm if i tr try my absolute best you know i'm not going to spend every day 24 hours a day focusing on it i'm still going to live my life and do the gym and be here for streaming stuff but if i try the best that i can do then it doesn't matter because i know i've given the best effort and that's such an important thing that i've realized recently where it's like life just cares about results and if you can be cheeky you can get results without doing the path they want I got straight A's in school. I would arrive to school drunk. I would miss classes. I would, uh, I wouldn't do anything. I'd, I'd be like, I got straight A's, but who cares? I didn't try my best. It doesn't matter. Just because that was easy for me doesn't mean anything. Thanks for the follow, Vic. Um, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. At uni, I got a degree. Did I learn anything? No. Has any job ever asked me, oh, what do you know? No, they just go, do you have the paper? Yes. Bang. It's just, it's just results focused. It's metrics focused. <clears throat> and I mean, partner's kind of the same. I worked really hard for partner. We streamed like 18 hours a day for like a whole month. That was hard, but that actually was me procrastinating. I didn't, I didn't have the, the, I didn't have the tools to do YouTube, to work out sponsorships, to do social media, to do discord management, to do editing, to do this, that, this, that, this, that, those, that stuff I couldn't do. So no one would ask me, hey, where's the emote? If I did 18 hours live. They go, oh, you're doing you're working so hard. I'm I'm working so hard to just to avoid the stuff that's scary. And now that I've seeked help and got medication, I have the tools to approach the other stuff, which is good. But <clears throat> you can achieve a metric that, you know, like you look at any uh, social media or anything, someone might have a million billion followers, but their content might be attracting people that aren't it might not it like i don't want to discredit anyone or like you know live your own life and stuff but for me personally i would feel much better with a challenging loss than an easy win much better much better think about dbd the best games you have are those clutch games give you don't know who's going to win even skill who's going to win you don't know and then one side wins oh good game and the worst games are when you're playing someone with 10 hours and you destroy them. Yeah, you might fork out, you might do really well, but like, do you feel good? You won something you should have won. You know, you don't grow by doing things you know you can do. You don't grow that way. You grow by doing things that you're uncertain if you can do. So it's like, if I go play tennis with an eight-year-old, I'm going to win. W will I feel pride or accomplishment from that? No. If I go play tennis versus a really good player, and I get and I lose, I feel way better because I had to try my best. The results don't matter. It's the effort you put into them because no one can expect anything more than your best. No one can expect anything more than your best. <sighs> best as you to have. I appreciate you, dude. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we know each other, right? I don't, don't want to go too personal and dox each other and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. I like the vibe of your stream. No, that's not weird at all. That's not weird at all. Um, is it S.A. Morella or is it Sam Arella? Sam Arella? Thank you for the uh, kind words on your first comment. Um, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <clears throat> you lose tennis to a child. That's okay. The loss doesn't matter. The result doesn't matter. What matters is you tried your best. If you try your absolute best and you fail, I guarantee you'll walk away feeling pride. I tried something that was really difficult that I couldn't do and I failed, but I know I tried. Most of my life has been random bits of success and like appearing functional. And everyone like everyone around me is, well done, that's so impressive. Oh, what a milestone, oh, so good. And I would just deflect. No pride, no self-worth, 
I can't accept the compliment because yeah, it might be relatively impressive, but internally, I know I fucking winged it. I know I just I know I just improved it. And it doesn't, doesn't feel good. So <laughs> We're going to try and do stand-up comedy next month. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I've committed to it now. Oh, that's horrible! It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. Man, there's a few, few fucking real-life people are swinging by. It's actually something uh, worth, worthy to talk about. Um, interesting stuff. Ugh. Stream Raiders, yeah. Tennis is fun. I like tennis. Oh, that's really kind, Samarilla. Life advice to machoism. <laughs> she knows too much, chat. Oh, what is this? Uh, high ground. That's right, chat. Anakin's worst fear. Is it just one? Oh my god. Is it all of us versus one? It's just one dino level one, and we've got like this army of like. <laughs> oh, wait, now it's level two. <laughs> Look at, we have all the war beasts and the, the BBCs. Absolutely owned, mate. Absolutely owned. F-A-F-O, right? I don't know what that system is. Um, but fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I might just call you Samarella. All in one. And then cover all bases. Um... But if you have something you prefer to be called, feel free to tell me. Um, I have a pretty good memory, kind of. Hey, Alex and Dragon, nice work. I'll keep, I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> you got six assists from one dude. Oh man. All right, we gotta go the hard path. Hard things are always worthwhile, chat. Easy things reinforce you to be a bitch. Okay? This is something that's taken me a long time to learn, like 30 years. <laughs> 30 years of taking the easy path. No wonder I got depressed. All right, I'm just going to be supportive. We're going to be supportive. If anyone needs, anyone's got any crocodiles that needs to be taken care of, we've got the best healer in the game. All these skins are available to purchase uh, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere on Stream Raiders if you have the program. There should also be a link in chat. Yeah, there's a link in chat. You can play it in your browser, on your mobile, or you can download the app. Um, I haven't played it in two years, so there's probably changes. Don't worry, Alex, I got you. He heals all the animals. All the animals. We protect. We protect. We protect. <clears throat> oh. Fair enough. I am super um, uneducated about that. And I'm sorry if uh, prying has made you feel uncomfortable. I apologize. Um, I was not aware of that. Yeah, there's. I'm still... Uh, I'm still very fresh to the whole like neurodiverse world. Um... I'm very familiar with chronic depression and anxiety and stuff, but last September I got diagnosed with uh, ADHD, which was a surprise to no one, um, but to me. So I'm uh, learning little bits here and there about uh, the various sorts of disorders and stuff. Um, haven't learned about that one though, um, but thank you for sharing. Um, I hope you're, you've got help and support and whatever tools helps that. I don't know. I don't know, but I just hope you're, uh, you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. <sighs> You have mates there, you have some laughs in the bag. Yeah, but I'm inviting my mates to the stand-up. They're going to be laughing at me. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's like Twitch. No one actually laughs with me. They laugh at me. Um, what happens if my friends are well, that bad that they're so... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is horrific. This is, I'm going to have like a 40-minute a ice bath in the morning. And then like no, nothing can, nothing can uh, upset me after going through that pain. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's terrible. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Uh, let's uh, don't don't post anything personal in chat. Don't post anything personal in chat. Don't post anything personal in chat. Which is a weird place. It's the internet. There's strangers around. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's very sweet, Del. Have you done your exams? Some great jokes. I should do stand up. Oh wait, can I say that joke? Hmm. Are we on the front page? If we're on the front page, I'm not saying that joke. But uh, I said a joke at the wedding of my mate last year. And um, 
Because everyone, they wanted to do a candid photo, everyone smiling. Oh, we're on front page. <laughs> um, they had to say a joke for everyone smiling and I said it so they could get candid photos. And uh, my mate that was getting married, he's like, Damon, you're funny, say something. And I've got, I've got like one joke in the bag, which is filthy, but it never, it always gets a laugh. But I don't want to go, um, I don't want to, I don't want to go up on stage and just say jokes. Like I want to go up there and either tell stories or, I mean, I'm going to be at like, like, like five minutes max. Um, but I need to structure it. I need to structure it. I'm not going to go up there and just like read jokes, like knock, knock jokes or something. Um, anyone can be funny if they say something a funnier person wrote. <clears throat> Hey, you know what? We care. We care. So, um, yeah, removing stigmas is so important. Removing stigmas is so, so important. Um, because, uh, you never know what anyone else is going through. Life sucks. We all, um, we're all struggling in different ways. You know, we all have ups, we all have downs. You never know. And, uh, one of the reasons why I started being more open and vulnerable about my mental health is because I don't look like someone that's struggling. And one of my hardest problems in the last six months has been to convince people that I'm struggling because they look at me and go, you're fine. You're happy, you're friendly, you're charismatic, you're bouncy, whatever, whatever, whatever. No, I'm dying. <laughs> um, yeah. And also I've seen a lot of comedians that just go up there and tell like the most embarrassing stories, like turn your trauma into, into comedy. And I got a lot of that category. I just got to figure out how to make it funny. Um, <laughs> um, maybe those, the, if you're trying to like share each other's real names and stuff, it's better for DMs, um, better for DMs. Be, be mindful of being on the internet. Um, deleting the scare alert done bits. We still have the scare alerts on. I did increase the volumes of all the scare alerts by 50% last, uh, last night. Um, so it could be really bad. It could be really bad. Ah, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. I don't struggle with that too much. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting though. Yeah, um, like uh, one of the, that was the reason why I started sharing it because um, I was on antidepressants for like two years living at home. No, no family knew, no friends knew. Like I'd spend three months alone, terrible in bed, and then I'd turn up to a party, three hours of pretending to be happy, and then three months of terribleness. And it's really, it's really uh, embarrassing to admit when you're struggling. It's really, really hard really really hard because first you have to admit to yourself there's parts of you that are weak and then you have to admit to yourself there's parts of you that's in your control and then your brain wants to go like oh it's your fault that's not the way to look at it the way to look at it is like oh i can do something about this i can make tomorrow better i can make next year better i can i can do this it's a motivating thought to realize that you have some control over that sort of stuff but it's embarrassing to admit it because no one wants to admit to other people that hey i need help Asking someone, hey, I need help. That is a really, really tough thing to do. Especially um, if you've grown up with like, you know, you gotta be a man, you can't cry, toughen up, be strong. Those are the people that look happy and then they just go away one day. You know, it's very important to talk about it because no matter how well someone looks, they could just be really good at masking. They could just be really good at masking. Having support networks is really good. Asking friends if they're okay is really good. Um, it's, uh, it's hard to, even yourself, ask yourself if you're okay. And if the answer is no, don't just stop there and go, well, everything sucks. Why am I not okay? Oh, this is, I'm sad because of this. All right. Is there anything we can do to improve that? Uh, sitting down and asking yourself these questions is very hard because the answers are scary. And sometimes you don't have the strength to confront these things alone, but you don't have to confront them alone. If there's people in your life that care about you, lean on them. If you're struggling to find people around you that support you, join the bloody Discord, all right? This community is 10 out of 10. All nice people. None of us are professionals, but we'll, we'll motivate you when you need to be motivated. We'll kick you in the ass when you need to be kicked in the ass. <laughs> no one in my community ever... Uh, um, I mean, I can't say everybody, <laughs> but we, we, we self-regulate. The idiots go away very quickly. So we got you, we got you back. <clears throat> Whenever Pepper gets uh, her new job, um, that's the day I turn the scare alerts off. Too risky, bro. Too risky. Too risky. Um, I'm not gonna go up a scary drop, Ben. Nah, 
No, I'm not going to go up Scary Drop, babe. I'm going to go up as uh, Damo. Damo! Welcome on stage, Damo the dickhead. Woo! It's me, like. Oh. Uh, what's the deal with airplane food? It's going to be terrifying. Ah! Oh! My entire brain is telling me, why did you publicly say this? Why did you tell your friends? Now you have to have to do it. But that's the point. Now I have to do it. I have to do it. It's locked in. It can't be avoided. It has to be done. It has to be done. So what am I going to do? Dwell in self-pity? Will that help it? No. Will whinging about it help it? No. Will preparing for it help it? Yes. <laughs> What's up, city? Good evening. <laughs> we're not certified we're certifiable that's right i'm not a uh i'm not a professional mental health expert but i am a professional mental health sufferer so learn from my mistakes i've made a lot <laughs> made a lot yeah masking is i didn't even know i didn't even know what masking was like last september they were like oh what part of it is this thing called masking i was like oh would that be like um playing a game you don't want to play and pretending to be happy because you feel forced to be the person people want you to be. Yes, that is actually the definition of masking. Oh, does that lead to depression? It can. Oh, all these ideas, realizations of the mistakes of my life. <laughs> Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Um, on the topic of uh, what you said, Lordo, um, am I going to go up a scary drop bear? Something interesting happened the other day. Um, <clears throat> someone else that I knew from my my life that I'd, I'd known for many years through school and stuff I popped into chat the other day and my first thought when I saw them was like oh my god anxiety weird feel embarrassed you know whatever whatever and that went away pretty quickly because I'm st starting to retrain my brain to not be an idiot um but it's been it's a pretty expert level idiot so it's it's, it's hard <laughs> it's always hard but that's the point that's the point um, and then I was all scared that like, cause, uh, the four years of streaming before this year, all the times I streamed, I tried to keep streaming private because I felt embarrassed. Like, how do you, how do you tell someone you're a streamer? How do you tell someone that you left like an industry you spent 10 years becoming educated, get turning down promotions to go and play a game on the computer? Like it's a, it's, a, it's an embarrassing thing. So I kept my streaming life very private and my public life, very private. I mean, I didn't have a life, <laughs> but I didn't, I kept, I tried to keep them separate. Um, and it was because I was feeling embarrassed. I was, wasn't was feeling, um, wasn't feeling secure, I guess. You know, it was a, it was a difficult thing um, to talk about publicly. And then uh, I checked Instagram after that stream and I had all these notifications, all these uh, like views. And a lot of the people that were viewing the thing were from my real life. People I've known for 20 years, you know, I might not have seen them for 10 years, but like a lot of old high school people and old job people and bosses, like various people in my life. And immediately I was like, this is terrible. I have to control this. I'm, this is, this is the worst. I'm so embarrassed. And then I was like, oh, maybe the, maybe the person that came in that knows me shared it on their Instagram or something. Turns out they did. Immediately, again, I'm stressed. I'm anxious. This is, I'm embarrassed, all this sort of stuff. And I wanted to control it. I wanted to like ban people or mess, don't do this, you know, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to control it. And every time I have that sort of negative voice pop up, I've slowly been gaining the strength to confront it. I go, hang on, what, why, why, what's going on? And pretty quickly I realized there's no, there's no reason to be embarrassed. There's no reason to feel awkward. There's no, who gives a shit? Who cares? Who cares? I can only control what I'm doing. I can't control what everyone else is doing, what everyone else thinks. If I know that I'm doing something that I feel is good, that is like aligned with who I am, it doesn't matter if it, everyone thinks it sucks. It doesn't matter if everyone goes, oh, look at that idiot, it is embarrassing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, unapologetically myself. <clears throat> because all the people I look up to, they, they show up for themselves. It's very easy to go along with the crowd very easy to do that. It's very hard to stand alone. So a lot of people, I find myself doing this. I tried to fit myself into the box that everyone else wanted to, me to be, but that wasn't who I was. So there was this inner conflict and that's why I couldn't accept compliments. That's why I didn't feel pride or self-worth. I didn't feel 
like I was doing what I should be doing. I didn't feel like I was acting the way I wanted to act. But there's all that social pressure. There's all that metrics. Oh, I swapped from a game to a different game and I was sad and I lost all my viewers. Oh no, everything's, all the hard work I've done is failing. Everything's failing. Tomorrow's going to fail. It's all, it's all terrible. Oh no. But that was the pressure that pushed me into, well, I guess tomorrow, even if I'm depressed, I better be happy. Hi guys. Welcome. Uh, I better be happy because otherwise no one's going to like it. No one wants to watch someone sad. No one wants to watch someone struggling with life. They want to watch someone happy. But putting the face forward of being happy when you're not happy, you're unaligned. You, you don't, it doesn't, it didn't feel good. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have the tools or the resources or the help to change that. The pressure was too much. And what ended up happening was I just quit. I just quit. Spent a year being depressed, working on myself. Now, even though what I'm doing is we like I put up a video today of me topless in the shower. Like that would never ever happen. Two weeks ago was the first time I'd wore a singlet in public in years. Because my anxiety, I would pick all my skin. I looked like I put my hands in beehives. It was just like terrible. I felt so uncomfortable in my, with myself. And I would never post videos about motivational quotes or like believe in yourself. Like beforehand, I didn't want to stand out because it, if you stand out, you open yourself up to criticism and the criticism can derail you if you don't have the support networks to overcome it. And that's where I was. Now, I don't care if I post cringy Instagram things. I don't care if uh, people like it or they don't like it. You know, I'm going to try my best. I want to be a full-time streamer again. I, I really enjoy this. I want to try my absolute best and not let my health weaken and interferes with my passion again. But if I try my best and it all fails, stiff shit. Stiff shit. At least I did what I wanted to do. At least I did what I thought was honest and important and beneficial. So I don't care anymore. It's 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 freeing. It's a it's a it's a the burden is gone. Because beforehand I had such anxiety around different things that I would try to control. I'd try to control the world and control all the things that made me anxious. But you can't control the world. You can't. You can't. You can't control the world. But you can control how you feel. So instead of trying to control all the things that make me anxious, I've tried to change myself to become stronger so I don't get anxious over those things anymore. And that has been the change for me. That has been the change for me. <clears throat> What's up, the bombs? Hope work's going well, man. It's okay to not be okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, it's very common to, you know if you lose your job or you got a breakup or life isn't going well, you feel depressed. That's normal. When things go bad, it's normal to not be okay. That's normal. Don't feel like you're wrong or you're broken or anything like that. It's normal to be upset to things. People get emotional. That's fine. But how are you going to react to it? Because you can dwell in your brain and make a mountain out of a molehill. You can... You don't, if you can control your reaction and your thoughts, and the way that I've found to do that is to take small steps in the right direction, and then the, the byproduct is that you get stronger. But if you can control your reaction, then you don't have to suffer any more than the minimum. Something is going to go wrong, life is going to suck, things are going to suck. But if you spend a week dwelling on it, you've made yourself suffer extra. You have the strength to overcome that it's very slowly everyone starts a different spot don't ever compare yourself to anybody else because we all start from different spots all start from different spots don't stress doesn't matter how small of a step you take small steps the first step's the hardest the next day you take a bigger step you can go from 0.1 percent 0.2 percent 0.3 percent and you'll blink and it'll be months later and you're in cold showers and you're running you're running to the gym <sighs> it's just that first step which encourages the belief in yourself that you are strong, you are capable, you can overcome this. Don't let present you impact tomorrow you. Just because right now you're struggling, don't let how you feel now become how you feel forever. Right now it feels like everything, but that doesn't mean you can't change tomorrow. It doesn't mean you can't get help. There's, there's things you can do. 
there's things you can do um and you do have the strength to do it it's hard it's very hard though it's very easy to say very hard to do so being accountable to other people um leaning on friends support networks uh, admitting to yourself that you need help all these things are, are good steps in the right direction and it doesn't matter how big of a step it just matters that the step is being taken in the right direction it might take you a year it might take you a week it might take you a day it might take you 30 years of mistakes like me it doesn't matter the past doesn't matter the past doesn't matter all that matters is right now what you can do right now what you can do tomorrow it doesn't matter who you were all that matters is who you could be and you have the strength to become the version of yourself you want to become all right <sighs> you can do it you can do it i know pepper i know I've got to a point where I'm unapologetically myself, 100% of the time. If you have a problem with that, that's a you issue. I don't try to conform to the ideology of someone of being someone who I'm not. Yeah, Lordo, you're uh, it's, you're like you're like a wise old man at the end of the path that I'm starting on. I appreciate uh, I appreciate your wisdom, man. I will admit I've lost people because I stopped being me. However, my life is so much better without them. Yeah, stuff them, stuff them. If your friends, if your friends are, yeah. Really good quote. You can't change your friends, but you can change your friends. All right? Don't spend your time and effort trying to change other people to have the perspective you have. Stuff them. But you can change your friends. You are really an, you're in the, an average of the five people you spend the most time around. You absolutely are. You are what you take in. You absolutely are. And if you look around at your close five friends and they're not great then you're going to feel conformed to that. It happens all the time with so many things. But it's if uh, one of the ways to it can help that sort of stuff is check your friends. As in, like, keep them accountable. Like, if you're walking down the street with a bunch of mates and one of them goes like, nice tits, babe, yells out something, four of your friends are going to go, oh, nice one, Bob. Be like, oh, yeah, that wasn't very nice. Check them. Check them. It's too, it's the easy, safe path to just go along the peer pressure, the, oh, this is my group. I better conform to what the group is enjoying. It, but you're sacrificing your inner morals for that. Stand up for it. And if they go, oh, what are you? Some, you know, whatever, whatever. You go, do I really, why do I even care about these guys' opinion? You would never take advice. Don't take criticism from people you would never ask advice from. Like if, if people don't like you, that's their problem. What matters is that you like you. Change yourself so you like you. That's the important thing. If you like yourself, it's like a suit of armor. You know what you're doing is important. You know what you're doing is good. Then stuff the world. Stuff the world. If you see a, ch if you see a, a child in the mud screaming, you're going to get down there and go, eh, scream in their face. No, don't lower yourself to their level and have a tantrum fight. They're punishing themselves. Hopefully they improve and they get better and they, they feel more confident. But that's, you can't parent the world. All you can do is uh, focus on yourself. <clears throat> From mild OCD, yeah. So um, I have body, body focused repetitive behaviors um, as part of ADHD. And now that my anxiety has dropped or dropping, um, my skin is clearing up. My skin is so much better. I, I had the, uh, the courage to wear a singlet in public the other day. Um, because now it's like, anyone that looks at me and goes, oh, your arms have red dots. Why do I care about your opinion? Like, you are that insecure, you're like making fun of other people that are trying to improve. Like, I don't care about you. I don't care about you. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Do what you want, live your life. Doesn't affect me. I mean, it does, but like, it doesn't have to affect me as much as it did before, you know? <laughs> also, Mado, I see you. Mado, I said thank you for the subs beforehand as well. Also, you got eight minutes to put units down. I said thank you before, made it at the start of the VOD. I promise you I did. Um, I said thank you for the subs, the five subs yesterday. I didn't realize you gifted five tier twos. I didn't realize they were tier twos, you crazy motherfucker. You, you are a goober. I can't believe. Tier twos? Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Y you're wonderful. You're wonderful. <laughs> oh, did you already, did you already say that? Oh, Fang. Fang's all over it. Thanks, Fang. Fang's like 10 minutes ahead of me. What a beast. What a beast. Shout out to the mods. We've got a good mod team. 
We got a good, we got a good, we, everyone here is good. It's wonderful. I take that back. Everyone here, with a few exceptions, Mado, is good. Was that an appropriate sound level? It was appropriate in my ears. Ow, thanks for the scare, Mado. Save your money, man. You've done too much love already. Too much love, dude. Um, we got a selfie. I swear we got a selfie back in like 2019 before we even knew each other. <laughs> we must have. I reckon we did. Uh, let me read the bombs. I'm just ranting. What do you do if you've accepted something that isn't going to happen that you really wanted to? It still hurts and don't know how to move on. Um, there's a lot to that question there. Um, one of the things I've ever found is in terms of like breakups or like losing a job or whatever, um, it's just time. It's just time. Like time heals all. Sometimes bad things happen and they're going to suck and they're going to hit you and it's going to suck. In time, it will pass. It will. It will. There are things you can do in terms of how you think about it. Um, so if something, if, you, if, you're, if you're confident the thing you want to do won't happen, then if you're worrying about it, does it change it? No. If you're happy about it, does it change it? No. So by worrying about it, you're just punishing yourself. You're just punishing yourself. Some things, some things that like life sucks. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that life is going to be wonderful. Life doesn't get easier. It still sucks. It still sucks. But you can try your best to make it suck the least amount of possible. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Yeah, that's rough to bombs. That is rough, man. Um, it will pass in time. But it just shows your strength of character of how much how much uh, emotions you have. Um, and that person obviously isn't worth it, mate. Not worth it. Not worth it. Don't dwell on the past. Focus on the future. Someone out there, someone out there is going to be the perfect fit to accept your level of care. That person isn't. They're not worth it. All right? They're not worth it. If they're not interested in you, they don't deserve you. Find someone else which is hard, but just focus on yourself. Become the best person you can be. And what you'll find is you'll attract someone who shares the same values as you, who um, uh, who fits with the person that you want to be yourself. Um, it's not easy. I'm not a dating specialist. <clears throat> it's hard. It's hard. I don't have any specific advice like the bombs. I'm sorry. Um, I don't really know uh, what advice to give you, but you know what? I'm going to take that question away and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to think about it and hopefully I'll have some better advice for you next time I see you, man. You got this though, dude. You got this though, dude. You know, it's like, um, if you want someone that doesn't want you, it's their loss. It's their loss. In your mind, they might be the perfect person, but they're not treating you with the same respect you're showing them. So there's something, there's, there's part of them which doesn't match with you. You wouldn't be happy if you're with them anyway, because they've already shown they don't fit with your self. When the right person comes along, you'll know it. It's a hard concept to grasp, but when you realize that you look like the next dickhead and they're just trying to love their life as well, that's it. Everyone's struggling. Everyone's everyone's freaking out. That's all right. It's only the uh, it's only the really insecure people that want to. Uh, insult you, bully you, they want to make fun of other people. It's just because they need a reason to feel better about themselves and they do that by putting down others. It's very childish. Don't pay attention to them. Don't pay attention to them. The best revenge is to be unlike them. They're punishing themselves. They're punishing themselves. They're just wearing their ego and their insecurities on their chest instead of confronting them. That's all. I got that photo, Mato. I do got that photo. I do got that photo. My head was like leaning in, trying to get into the camera. Plumo read me the other day. Plumo's a good boy. He's such a good boy. I did, did miss seeing him. If your friends can't accept you in your down moments, they don't deserve you in your up moments. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, the Marilyn Monroe paraphrase that every, every single fucking white 17-year-old girl shares. They can't handle you at your worst. They don't deserve you at your best. Well, are you at your best? Are you really at your best? You got this. You can improve. And then you'll find that others will notice the improvements. And anyone that doesn't have belief in you doesn't deserve your love. 
Oh, yeah, I was speaking more from the male perspective, Peppercorn. That is a good point. That is a good point. Um, <clears throat> yeah, don't do anything that's dangerous or, or like, don't put yourself in any danger if it's, if it's not worth it, um, for sure. What I just meant was like, if you've got a group of friends in high school or, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, and they keep making uh, like bigoted jokes or something, you don't have to, you don't have to, um, you don't have to just go along with it so you don't be the odd one out. If it doesn't align with your values, call it out. And if they go, oh, you know, we don't like you anymore. Good. See you later. I'm going to go find people that share how I feel and how I perceive things. You know, it's 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 hard because there's a peer pressure and stuff that you, oh, but if I upset my friends and I'm going to be alone. Well, being alone sometimes might be better than hanging out with people that uh, make you a worse version of yourself. And it's, it's really hard to identify those red flags. Um, but if you focus on it, um, you'll find that those things become apparent. You go, I don't feel good about these things. So I don't really, um, you know, the friend group that I have are wonderful. Like, I love having like neurodiverse friends. I was at my mate's house yesterday and we talked about immortality from lunch to dinner. We just had this full on philosophical abstract debate about uh, immortality and infinite timelines and this and that, like, Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But it was so much more enjoyable to me than being like, did you catch the footy yesterday? Did you see what was on channel 10? Like it's just, it's, it's nice. It was nice, I really enjoyed it. It was really good to see my friend. Um, but he gave me a vegan meal, so I don't know. That wasn't great. <laughs> That's one of the things I was thinking about. So this goal is gonna be terribly scary. We've hit it, I'll do the stand up. That's gonna be terrifying. But the goals from now on are gonna be good things that are scary. So a goal and I'll go gluten free for a week, film it. Here's what happened. Did it work? Did it not work? Here's the evidence. Here's whatever. Oh, another goal. All right. I'll ice bath for a week straight. How did it go? I don't know. I'll run 10 K a day. How did it go? You know, they're still going to suck. They're going to suck way more than like doing a scary stream or doing a subathon, but they're going to have value and I can show you the experiences, what's good about it, what's bad about it, how to ease into it and it's going to be a beneficial thing that's still terrible. <laughs> that's what I'm aiming at. I want to do difficult things. I want to do scary things. I want to do challenging things that doesn't that I'm going to try my best at. And if I fail, who cares? If I don't fail, awesome. What a nice surprise. Either way, I've been courageous towards things that scare me and I will grow and become stronger as a result, regardless of the actual outcome. As long as I try my best. That's what I'm trying to do. So the goals are going to be make me do terrible things that you guys will laugh at. But also it's going to be like a ha ha hmm. Funny, but thoughtful. We're going to, we're going to learn and grow together. Hey, what's up, Delton? Yeah, that's it. That's it, Delton. Two puzzle pieces. <clears throat> um, That might be the end of the stream. Wait, we'll, we'll do one more. We'll do one more after this. Look at them all! Look at the big crocodiles! Don't worry, Steve. Oh, there's another Steve-O! Mad Steve-O! Oh, there's three Steve-Os! We're gonna heal all the crocs. We're gonna take care of all the animals. Yeah, we don't need spells, mate. We don't need spells. All we need is the crocodiles. Is there just one person? Oh, yeah, we're gonna destroy them. Let's go! Let's go! <clears throat> That's awesome! Dude, the bombs! You're already on the right path, man. You're already on the right path. You've got a problem that you can't overcome and you're seeing professional help. I'm proud of you, dude. I'm proud of you. Well done, mate. I hope it goes great. And if if the uh, therapist doesn't match with you, get a second opinion. Don't be don't be disheartened. You got this, man. That's a, that's a huge win, dude. A huge win. Um, I cancelled my therapy appointment. Um, oh my god! Too many bits, mate Too many. Scary stand up bear. <laughs> we'll go with that. Bang and Alex, nice job. <laughs> Do one more. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if Mado bought a thousand bits. Um, if my math is correct. Thank you, Mado. I appreciate you. Was that scary alert? Okay, volume. I'm still testing stuff. It sounded like it. this is the last battle. This is the last one. This is the last one, chat. Hello. Start battle. It's working. I'm working. Hey, no stress, Alex. Dude, have a good day at work. Thank you for swinging by. I appreciate it. 
Time doesn't heal all wounds. We heal ourselves with time. That is great. That is a great quote. Time doesn't heal all wounds. We heal ourselves with time. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yeah, this guy doesn't need any healing. Imagine that's coming at you. That's a drop bear for anyone that's not in Australia. Um, we learned about these in, in primary school because they're so dangerous. They kill so many tourists. Oh my God, look at this. Can you imagine? Dynamic duo. Look at these, look at these chonky boys. If these come and attack you, you are in trouble. Ooh, Cajun's got a big vampire. There's a cannon, artillery. Oh, let's go. Let's go. How exciting. How exciting. Might have 5 million more received. Please no. Whether that scare alert was all right. I'm still testing the volumes and stuff. I don't want um, anyone to uh, like feel ripped off. I was, but I also don't want to get tinnitus. I think that was a good enough volume. Gave me the spooks. No worries, Del. Dude, you relax. You had a big day. You had a big day, man. Congrats on um, finishing your exams today. Huge achievement. Now you can relax. As long as you don't have any more. Yeah, that's it, Mato. That's it. When you're um, when you're with someone that uh, gels with you, it's uh, it's there's no effort. There's no stress. There's no stress. I can't believe how wise you guys are in chat. You guys are so wise. All this stuff, things change. Friends, I gotta scroll back up to that, Delton. What was that quote? Uh, it's better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not. I like that quote too. I like that quote too. Um, that's kind of how I felt with DVD towards the end. Like I enjoyed it for like 4,000 hours and then by 4,200 hours, didn't I, Shawane? I have that video somewhere. I have that video somewhere. The raid you gave me back in the day, the troublesome Texan, Thirsty Thursdays. Shawane, my God, I was watching you play. What were you playing the other day? I was lurking. I was lurking, but I felt awkward to chat. You wear my shirt every day, every Thursday. Oh my God. So Wayne, I've known him for like five years. Um, I don't know if you're still friends with Fawn, but I, I saw her snap today and she's lost a lot of weight. So she's really proud of herself. Fuck yeah. You guys are smashing it. Chat, if you like Australians, you will love Texans. They are the exact same, just with a weird accent. Go follow Shawane. do it. Hi Cajun, nice angel in uh, Stream Raiders. Looks kind of fancy. Thank you for the shout out as well. Welcome in everybody. Um, I'm Scary Drop Bear. <clears throat> that was good. Okay, Mato, thanks for the uh, feedback. Uh, my name's Scary Drop Bear. Um, I used to be a Dead by Daylight streamer. We're not anymore. We're much more of a mental health advocate, removing the stigma, sharing uh, self help stories, motivational quotes, philosophy. Just good vibes. Good vibes. Life sucks. Everyone's struggling. We can make it a little bit easier. Um, I've been streaming since like 2018. I just came back from like a year off. I had a lot of struggles with my own health. Um, that I've neglected and I've sought help and I'm starting to do better. So we're talking about the steps that I took because if this idiot can get out of the hole, I know you have the strength to as well. Um, that being said, if you are brand new here, we do have a trailer and I'm going to go uh, open the floodgates and drain the main vein while it's playing because this coffee is kicking my ass. But if you want to do stream raiders, the command's in chat. We're going to play the trailer. If you, those of you that come over from Shawane are from America, then you will recognize my friend in the video. It's Morgan Freeman. This is what we used to be like. Now we're still the same dickhead, just with a little bit more positivity. So if you're brand new here, this is what we get up to. Who is Scared Drop Bear, you may ask? Is he an esports professional? Might be the wind condition of the game. Absolutely cleaning up. It is a massacre. Jump headshot. Winner is Mr. Scary Drop. Is he good at video games? Ooh. <laughs> I just hit a great skill check by hitting the space bar with the bottom of the gear. Right, right. Or is he simply a meme lord? He is none of those things. He is, in fact, a dickhead. Press follow and hang out live. Otherwise, who really is the dickhead? Still him. 
Thank you. Who is That's the stream, chat. That's the stream. I know, right, Swain? Rimworld, eh? What were you playing the other day? It wasn't Rimworld, it was something. I can't remember. You still doing a uh, D&D? Swain's a good boy. He's a good boy. -o. In fact, I reckon I can find that video. I reckon I can find that video. Shawane gave me the best goddamn, um, the best goddamn, uh, shout out I've ever, ever received. And I know it's on Twitter somewhere. I can find it. I can find it. Uh, search my own tweets. I can't find it. Why not? What's your Twitter handle, Shwain? I'll find it. This is hilarious. It's so good. It's my favorite thing ever. You're all, you guys are my favorite people. Texans are the best. They're the best. Oh, I found it. The Shwain. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. I found it. Oh my God. Oh my god. You don't this is my favorite thing ever. This is my favorite thing ever. All right. How do we find it? This button? Uh, July 27th, 2019. So nearly four years ago. This was after a Thursday, Thirsty Thursday. All right, this is the shout out Schwain gave me. If you don't know who fucking Scary Drop Bear is, you need to go fucking look right now. He is a pog champ. This dude is an Australian streamer, the Dead by Daylight main. You want to talk about the best jukes. You want to talk about three six skis that'll fucking make a drop bear explode. You want to see some fucking things that'll just make kangaroos dizzy as fuck. He's the best. He's the one you want to look at. Please give him some love. Please let them know I said, hey, uh, I'm going to be going for now. Bad. But again, I will be on tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be streaming. That is the best shout out I've ever gotten, ever. That is my favorite. I, 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 I can find it. I can find it somewhere. 2019, brother. 2019, brother. Oh, nostalgia. Nostalgia, man. So good. So good. My man, like, polishes off a bottle of vodka in a stream. Um, it's just Texans are another breed. They must be Australians. They call Don't they call Australians British Texans? I gotta come over there. Come over there, eat some meat, have a good time. It's good to see you, man. Thank you for the raid. Thanks the raid, dude. I do recommend checking him out. He's been a friend of many years. Many years, chat. And chat, if you ever stream... And you get partner or you get a number or you get a thing or you get a thing and you stop being friends with the people you're friends with then you weren't friends with them in the, in the beginning keep an eye on those red flags you will see people when they start to get an inflated ego and a sense of importance all of a sudden they don't say hi to affiliates all of a sudden they don't they only raid famous people all of a sudden they're very subtle red flags and then you realize oh they were being friendly to me because they could get something from me not because they were friends. Be aware of that. Be aware of that, chat. <clears throat> be a good person because you want to be a good person. Don't be a good person because you expect something in return. All right? Very silly. Don't fall into that trap. There's a lot of those on, on Twitch. <clears throat> Don't do it. The best shout out. American Australians, probably city, probably both ways. Probably both ways. Um, if you see form before I do, Shawane, tell her I'm proud of her for the fitness and the weight loss and tell her I miss her. Tell her I miss her. And um, there's a few other people in that, that crew that I haven't seen in a while. I can't believe you still wear the shirt. Oh, there is The merch store is broken, I think. I don't know what's happened. I haven't touched it in like years. Don't do it. Don't do it. Pass on my love. Pass on my love, dude. Man. That's one of the things we're going to do. Um, we're also going to be doing um, some streams where we just look back on old stuff. I'm, I've got all the clips saved. When the DMCA thing did, I didn't delete everything. I downloaded every single clip. So we're going to watch back old cosplays. We're going to watch back old Riff Raff. It's going to be like reacting to the things that I did that I forgot I did. Or videos like Shawane's video. 
I didn't remember that existed until I saw your lovely face name in chat. Um, and that has brought me mucho serotonin. So I appreciate you swinging by today, man. Appreciate it. I can't remember what we're talking about, <clears throat> but we are getting very close to ending. Um, I wrote down, a, I got a whole script. I wrote down so much stuff, so much stuff. So much stuff. I'm writing a lot these days. I'm writing to-do lists. I'm writing reflections. I'm writing schedules. I'm writing down quotes that I think are important to look back on. Lots of stuff. Failure is an opportunity for learning. If you can put your ego aside. I like that. Luck is when opportunity meets hard work. I wrote down so many things. We've covered that in one way or another. I wrote down like an, a, a plan for today. And then I just started riffing. I think I covered all of it. Thanks, dude. I'm glad to be back, man. I'm glad to be back. Your two mil ransom? Whoa. Whoa. Um, I'm both bankrupt and in horrific debt. Look elsewhere. <laughs> but we're feeling good. We're, we're on the right path now. That shit doesn't matter. We're feeling good. Hmm. Get some sleep, B. Wonderful to see you. Wonderful to see you, dude. Yeah, yeah. If you've got ADHD in your memory, you don't can't trust your memory, writing things down is important. Problem is I write stuff down, save it, and then never open it. I just open up a new notepad. I don't ever look at what I wrote down, so I'm trying to reflect a bit better. I'm trying to put the day up for review. Um, we're going to call it there, chat, because we've got some stuff to do tonight. Um, there'll be another stream this week. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday. After leg day. Oh, that's going to suck. Maybe Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday, chat. But you know what? If you want to keep in contact and stuff, Discord's there. Lovely group of people. Twitter's there, Instagram's there. I'm sharing a lot more self-help stuff and that. Um, quotes that I find useful, ideas that I find useful, things that help me get out of bed in the morning, things that help me take a step in the right direction. Um, I think they will also help you because I was a terrible, terrible, terrible degenerate. Terrible. And if this stuff can help me get out of the hole, you're definitely stronger than I am. You can do it. You can do it. Um, I'm playing a bit of Overwatch. I played CSGO last night for the first time since 2020 something. We're going to be playing games on stream, don't worry. Well, there'll be an Overwatch stream. There'll be a Fortnite stream. There'll be a Pummel Party stream. There'll be a Words with Friends stream. There's going to be game streams, um, like stream raiders in the background. We're going to, I'll do the start of the battle offline. You won't miss it. Um, we're going to do lots of, lots of game streams, but gaming is not going to be my focus. I'm not going to try to be the best at a game or the best in that category. I'm just going to try to be the best me that I can be. All right? And I feel really... I feel really... Um, Satisfied? I feel a lot of personal personal um, accomplishment when I talk about stuff that I find is important. Um, you did, Taddy. You did, dude. But you won't miss the next one. Don't worry. There's going to be lots of streams. We're back. We're back on track. It's good to see you there, mate. Um, so proud of you, dude. That message that you sent me the other day. Yeah. I've, I've never... I haven't stopped thinking about it. haven't stopped thinking about it. Um, that, that, that motivates me, Taddy. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Uh, yeah, no, no quiplash. That doesn't exist. There's no such thing. TFT? Yeah, why not? Why not? There's gonna be more streams. Um, Ot1, it's good to see you too. You have a good night too, man. We'll be more game streams, but we're gonna, um, we're gonna, uh, do more helpful stuff. I feel really good when I do this sort of stuff. And even though it might be cringy, posting cold showers or talking about philosophy quotes or motivational stuff, I don't care. It helped me. It's self-help. If it helps you guys too, awesome. It's stronger together. We got this. There's no stopping anyone. We all got this. You can get out of the hole. I believe. I believe, chat. Um, yeah, so I might see you Wednesday. I might see you Tuesday. Lots of stuff. Um, if you want to uh, follow along on Twitter or Instagram, I'm posting a fair bit on there at the moment. Really love the community in Discord. I'm pretty active in there every day um, to have a chat or hang out or do whatever. And yeah, if we get to that goal before my birthday on July 8th, um, I'll feel myself doing stand-up for the first time. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's gonna be so scary. Why did I commit to this? I had a brief bit of motivation. My brain's like, that looks scary. Let's go, let's run straight at it. And ever since I had the idea, my whole brain's like, don't do it, don't do it, cancel. Think of an excuse to get out of it. Nope, I've told you guys, I've told my friends, I'm accountable, it's gonna happen. But you wanna see it? Help me get out of debt. <laughs> Oh, really, D? No way. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. Um, I'm going to be posting on Instagram tomorrow morning a cold shower. 
this week, Monday to Friday, cold shower every morning. And if I don't post it, then I failed. And guess what, chat? I don't want to let you down. I don't want to let me down. I'm going to be a man of my word. I'm going to seek to my commitments and we're going to get stronger together. It's going to happen. One step in front of another. That's it. Doesn't matter how small a step you take, just that you take that small step. Take the smallest step you can do and that you will do. All right. And if you can't do it, make a smaller step. Make a small step. Doesn't matter where you start. Just matters that you start. You got this. You got this, guys. I will see you guys very shortly. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I know it was a short stream, but it was impromptu. We're working up to things. It's going to be good. Things are going good. It's nice to see you too, Victoria. I appreciate it. Shawane, thank you for coming over with the raid and all your friends. I hope you had a great night. Get some sleep, the Americans in chat. Thank you for the subs. Um, thank you for the raid, Shawane. Mado, thank you for the bits, um, the follows, guys. JC, I know you're not here anymore, but I appreciate you. Love you so much for the dono. Um, Seppi, JC, you're all wonderful. Anyone that's here that wants to find their way back, feel free to follow. Um, if not, all good. <laughs> the auto mod got you. Um, all good. I'll see you guys soon, all right? You take care. You have a great start to your week. Enjoy the public holiday. If you have one, get up early tomorrow. Smash the day. You got this. I'll see you soon, guys.